So what's up guys? Today we're going to install this Max Speeding Rods traction bar for the 8891 Honda Civic and CRX. If you're familiar with traction bars, I think we can all agree this looks like another brand's similar design. The welds, the brackets, everything that the way it is shaped looks very, very similar. Even including the radius rods which attach to the lower control arm. This product retails for about $95 on their website, has all the included hardware. We're going to get it installed on the 88 CRX SI today. And then we're going to try to get some testing footage. Unfortunately, today is March 31st. And with everything going on, the lockdown, our last track day had been canceled on March 28th. And it looks like our next one on April 11th obviously will be canceled. I may or may not wait to release the video until I can actually get some footage of us taking it to the track and some real world testing. But regardless, let's go ahead and get it installed today. Check fitment just to make sure it fits the way that it should. Now looking at the welds, they look very thick and strong. So hopefully there shouldn't be any issues in terms of the abuse that I want to put it through. Since this car has a B-swap already, this is easy to remove because the front motor mount isn't attached. And you don't have to disconnect the radius rods at the front. I did, however, move the fork because it's kind of in the way and you need a little bit more room just to get to those two bolts. And then I also had to loosen up the sway bar end link. That gave me enough room to slide this in between while I was getting off that rear bolt. It's necessary to remove the OEM tow hooks because it will interfere with the mounting of this bar and this bar now has its own tow hooks on both sides of it. Initial test fit is perfect. No issues, everything bolted straight up, radius rods should go on very easy next. So what I did there, I got the front of the radius rod hooked up and I left that loose, that way I could spin it in and line up the two bolt holes for the control arm. So now I can go ahead and tighten up the lock nut. I'm going to slide the bolt out, push the washers in and then it has a, a nylock lock as well. And then go ahead and tighten these and I can put the fork back on and the side's done. And there it is guys, really easy install, really quick install. Everything bolted up as planned. No issues with any of the, the heim joints, the locking nuts, both the bolts for the end of the radius rod. Of course, the four of that bolt, the frame to the actual bar itself. So this one is done. Really quick install. Only took me maybe 45 minutes to an hour just to get everything tightened up completely. And here's a look at the bar from the top. A lot more room now and it'll make it so much easier for me to get off this one piece header. You can see the clearance on it as well, like the oil pan, the header, the transmission. The bar sits up really high so there shouldn't be any clearance issues at all. And it looks like we're not going to be able to test it at the track, so I have another idea of how we can get out there and go ahead and test this bar. So what we're going to do to test out the traction bar, my friend Jaime just picked up this EG Coupe about two months ago 
It has a B16A3 in it. It has pretty much stock everything else, so even suspension. We're gonna take it out there and do a couple drag races today. Let's a little look at his hatch. Really, really clean. It's a 94, right, Jaime? Yes, sir. 94 DX hatch. Um, let me see the engine. Pop it up. Let's check it out. Oh, here you go. Um, they're here. No, I brought them with for the hood. It's clean. I really like it. He just put the SI wheels on it. Put some brand new Nitto Neo Gens. Asked me which ones, and of course I recommended those. He likes the way it looks, though. It looks sharp. It looks clean. Love it. So just a B16A3 um, GSR transmission in there. But everything else is relatively stock. Simple setup. Feels solid. We're going to take it out there and see how we do against one another today. I couldn't find a 
get in? I couldn't get it in. Push it, push it all the way down. Huh? Push it head all the way down? Yeah, that's what I was doing now. It's a tough transmission. It's weird. Alright. You want to bust it real quick? Yeah, I just got it. Okay. <laughs> there you go guys, so after those races, this car is obviously has a little stronger B16A than his. The car is a little bit lighter to begin with and Jaime hasn't had uh, like a B-series older Honda in years. It has to have been like, like 10 to 15 years I think since he had one. He had an 8th gen, no I'm sorry, he had a 9th gen like 4 years ago, maybe even 3 years ago. But it's not like we go out and race all the time, and so he hasn't drag raced in forever. I even let him do a couple of warm-up ones just to have him remind him how to launch it high and keep those tires spinning. You can see that right here. But this car obviously pulled a little harder. I jumped off the line each time. He was a little slow in his reaction. And then when I raced Ray, he, like if you listen to the honk, he's like beep, beep, beep. So he got a jump on me there, but he couldn't shift this car which I thought was pretty funny. Couldn't get into second gear and so automatic loss when you're not making it into gear. Regardless, it was fun. Just wanted to kind of show um, a little bit of beating on this traction bar. It feels great. The car launched like a champ though now. Um, and the old bushings that were on there in the front, I'd never changed them so they were rubber for the radius rod to the front lower cross member. They were all squeaky and they moved around a lot. So I'm sure it helped. I, I can imagine only he's going to feel better on the car. So, cool little way to test it out. Um, excited to get to the track and test it out there too. And here's a final look at the traction bar for those last races. Checked all the hardware, everything is good to go, no issues. That's something you should always do if you're abusing your car and even if you just installed any new suspension components, you should always double check the hardware after a little bit of driving because that's when it always seems to kind of work itself loose and can create some sort of issue. Another thing is it did not rub on, I have a B20 crank pulley on my B16. It did not rub at all on here on the radius rod. So that's a plus sign and it's, it's not super high. It has a nice ride height. But overall I like it. The price is, uh, it's a good price. We, uh, I can't wait to get out there and get it tested at the track as well, put a handful of sessions on it, just abuse it a little bit more. When we do that, I'll give you guys an update in the comments or maybe in the description, let you know how it's holding up over time. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come check us out next week where we get to work on a little bit more aero of this car. We'll see you then.